Hi Drake, how is the new company account officer doing? Have you been to his office? I need to know if we can work with him like we worked with the last account officer that was fired for misappropriation of funds. Him, I have not really interacted with him, but I believe we can work with him. I am saying this because we are expecting some funds to purchase consumables for the company. As usual, the price is inflated so we can get our own cut. But the funds will pass through him so we need him on our side. That will not be a problem sir. Once the funds arrive, I will talk to him. That's good, thanks. You can go back to work now. Okay, sir. Hey, Richard, how are you doing today? I am fine, thanks. I was wondering if we can do lunch together today, just to show you around the restaurant and introduce good food to you. Hmm, I am a little bit busy today. I need to balance some accounts. Can we make it tomorrow? Tomorrow it is. Thanks. You are welcome. This is one of the best restaurants around here. They have good foods and they are not too expensive. Oh, okay. So, Richard, how are you finding your new job as an account officer in the company? Well, I would say it's been great, though a little bit challenging. Oh, that's great. I am sure it will get better as the days go by. Yeah, I hope so too. Richard, I will like to discuss something with you. Okay, go on. Ah, there is this fund we are expecting from our parent company. It is a yearly allocation for consumables. We have submitted the list of what we want. Ah, but we inflated the prices a little bit. You know the economy of the country is not friendly. So we added something to help us survive. We will also share with you if you sign the paperwork so that the money can come in. What do you think, Richard? Hmm, Drake, you see I am a Christian and cannot do what you are proposing. The Bible says in Leviticus 19.11, you must not steal. You must not tell lies, and you must not deal falsely with your fellow citizen. I cannot go against the word of God, so the answer is no, I won't sign the paperwork. Oh Richard, it is not as bad as that. No one is stealing, I am a Christian too and I go to church. It's just a way to augment our income so that we can take care of our families. I know you are a married man and you know that the economy is not friendly. Please think about it Richard. There is nothing to think about here Drake. My position on this issue is still no. Thanks. Okay, Richard. I am sure we are going to be great friends. Thanks for your time. You are welcome, Drake. Mr. Joe, we have a big problem on our hands. What is it, Drake? The new accountant is going to be a big problem to us. He is refusing to sign the paperwork. He said he is a Christian blah blah blah. He even quoted a Bible verse for me. What? He didn't sign the paperwork. He must be one of this born-again Christian. What are we going to do now? We will need to quote the exact price and if we do that, the management will raise an eyebrow because the amount will be lower than what we have been submitting over the years. That's not going to be possible. It will expose us. Don't worry, I will have a chat with him. Okay, sir. Please tell him to see me ASAP. Okay, sir. Hello Richard, the manager will like to see you. Hi, Drake, it's okay. By the way, thanks for the lunch. It's nothing. Good day sir, you asked to see me. Hello Richard, how are you today? I am very fine sir. Please sit down. Okay sir. Richard, I need a little favor from you. What is it, sir? I need you to approve and sign the paperwork for the consumables. Although, the price is a bit inflated, it is for our benefit. We all know that things are becoming expensive. The extra on the list will help us to survive the season. What do you think, Richard? I am so sorry sir. I won't be able to sign the paperwork. I am a Christian and stealing is against my faith. It doesn't matter the explanation you have for doing it. The Bible says God will supply my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Not according to my salary sir. Richard, since you don't want to reason with me, I am making it an order for you to sign the paperwork. If you don't sign it, there will be consequences. Sir, I have told you. I won't sign it. Okay, we will see. If that's all, I will like to return back to work. You can go back to work. Thank you, sir. Hi, honey, you are back. How was work today? Hi, Rose. Work was fine until the devil threw temptations my way. Temptations? What do you mean by that? It started with the company's marketing officer and then the manager. 
The two of them have been stealing from the company for God knows when. They wanted me to sign a paperwork for the consumables. They inflated the price because of economic hardships so that they could augment their income. They wanted me to share part of the money too. So what did you say? I said no of course. I am a Christian and stealing is against my faith. What? Are you not tired of the economic hardship? We don't even have a car for crying out loud. You should have agreed with them so that we live better lives. How can you say that Rose? You are a Christian for God's sake. You should know the position of God's word on stealing. Don't call it stealing because it is not. It's just a way to boost your income. I am sure the manager and the marketing officer are also Christians. Why do you carry Christianity on your head so much like that? I am truly disappointed in you Rose. I wonder what you will do if one of our kids steal your money. That's a different ball game. I am not raising thieves. I am raising great men of God. You are an adult and this issue is different. Okay. I am not going to do it, period. Please give me my food. Honey, please think about the things we can do with the money. For example, we can buy a car. I am tired of using taxis all the time. Please dear. Please I need my food. Drake, I met with Richard, the account officer. He told me the same thing. We have to find ways to get rid of him. He has to leave, otherwise he will destroy all our plans. I agree with you sir. Please think of ways we can implicate him so he can be fired quickly. Okay, sir. I have an idea already. Great. That's why I like you. Hello, sir. Please I have a complaint. My office was ransacked yesterday after I left. The key to the safe was stolen. And there are lots of money missing. So, what do you want me to do about it? I am not the security officer. Be ready to face the disciplinary committee. Disciplinary committee? I thought you will join hands with me to find the missing money as the manager. Join hands with you? Did you join hands with me when I needed your help? For all I know, you may be the person that stole the money in the safe and pretending to look for who stole it. Sir, how can you say that? I am a Christian and I don't steal. Okay, we will know when you face the disciplinary committee. Please leave my office. We are all welcome to this meeting. As we all know, we will be interrogating Mr. Richard on the missing company money in his possession. So, Mr. Richard, can you tell the committee how the company's money in your possession got missing? The money got missing on the 2nd of March. I finished my work as usual and kept the safe's key in the usual place too. When I resumed the next day, i.e. 3rd of March, I found the office has been ransacked and the money was gone. I drew the attention of the manager to it and nothing has been done so far. Mr. Richard, I have a question for you. Why are you keeping company's money in the office? I don't keep the company's money in the office. This was just one off. I was supposed to take it to the bank, but I was swamped with urgent financial report to submit to the CEO. I plan to take it to the bank the next day. That is a flimsy excuse, Mr. Richard. You must be punished severely for stealing the company's money. I did not steal the company's money and you know it. Mrs. Mandy, we will like to hear from you. Well, Mr. Richard, you should have taken the money to the bank as it when due irrespective of the work at hand. If you had done that, we wouldn't be here today. Is that correct? Yes, Ma. Great. The CEO reviewed the recommendations of the committee and came up with this. You will go on one month suspension without pay. Secondly, when you resume, the stolen money will be deducted from your salary. You will be receiving half of your salary until you finished paying the debt. Okay, Ma. But Mrs. Mandy, the offense is very grievous. I recommended that he should be fired so that others can learn from him. The CEO decided to give him another opportunity because of his performance so far. Let's leave it at that. Okay. God, what kind of life is this? I only refuse to do what's wrong and this has led me to almost losing my job. Lord, I am in trouble. How will I cope with my wife at home? What will my children eat? Will they understand that I was trying to stand for what is right? What will I do now? I don't feel like going home to face my wife, it is going to get too hot for me. Lord Jesus, please help me. Richard, why are you home early? I hope you are okay. Are you sick or did something happen? What is it? Please tell me. Calm down Rose, I will tell you everything. But before then, I need to freshen up and eat. 
So, please set the table. Okay. Okay, dear. Lord, you have to help me with my wife tonight. I am in a deep mess. I don't even know how to tell her. Holy Spirit, please help me. Rose, do you remember the issue I discussed with you the other time? Which issue is that? The issue about stealing money from the funds allocated for consumables in the office. The money you refused to take, claiming to be Assistant Jesus. Please stop it, Rose. The issue on ground is that some staff in the office kind of together to put me in trouble. They stole money from my office and they claimed I stole it. What? What kind of thing is that? So the management set up a committee to look into the issue. The committee called me today to explain all I know about the case. I explained and they gave me one month suspension without pay. They will deduct the missing money from my salary every month when I resumed. Oh Richard, why will you do this to us? What is hard in collecting money from the consumables in the first place? See where it has finally landed you. How are we going to survive? How are we going to pay the children's school fees? How are we going to eat? Richard, see what you have done to us. I am sorry Rose, I was only trying to do what is right. Sorry, you are sorry, you can see we're trying to do what is right landed you. Hi Bella, please see me at the close of office today. Okay sir. Hello sir, I am here. Hello Bella, how are you doing? I am fine sir. Bella can we be friends? I will like to take good care of you. You are a very beautiful lady you know. Friends. Sir you are the manager, and you are married. Your wife should be your friend not me. I have so much money. I will take care of your needs if you agree to be my friend. All I need is someone that will take care of my needs as a man. I am married, yes. But I still need a beautiful lady like you by my side. Thanks for the offer sir. I don't have any need. Like I said, your wife should take care of your needs. If that's all, I will like to go. It's getting late. Okay, if you say so. Great, thanks for your help. Now, Richard is on suspension. Though, I recommended that the CEO should sack him. Anyways, I will be the one to sign the paperwork for the consumables in his absence. That is very good for us. Yes, sir, it is. So, I will transfer your own share of the money once it is processed. Thank you, sir. Where are you going to dress like this? I need some encouragement. So, I want to go and see Mrs. Hepsey, our pastor's wife. So, because you are not going to work, you want to be roaming about. All your mates are in their offices making money for their families. Please don't start Rose. I don't want to get depressed. I need to be around people that will inspire me. So, are you saying I don't inspire you? Do you inspire me? All you do is to rain insults on me. Please serve my food, I need to eat before leaving. Sorry, no food this morning. We have to manage what is at home. I only cook for myself and the kids. You are the soul that sins and you will bear the punishment alone. Is that so? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hello Mr. Richard, how are you doing? I am fine, Mrs. Hepsey. Please come in and sit down. Thanks. How is work? Are you on break or on a vacation? Work is fine. I was suspended for a month. What happened? I refused to be part of an ungodly plan. Then they connived together to punish me. They stole money from my office and claimed I did it. So, I was suspended for a month. Wow. I am so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's just that sometimes I get depressed. I was only trying to do what is right. This is where it led me. No regrets when you follow the right path. Even if it leads to opposition, animosity or more, the Lord will turn it around for your good. This reminds me of the story of Jesus at Nazareth. Jesus was in Nazareth and in the synagogue teaching from the book of Luke 4 verses 16 to 30. After he finished the Bible teaching, the people were filled with anger. When he was teaching what they liked, the scripture says in verse 22, and they were all giving witness with wonder to the words of grace which came from his mouth, and they said, Is not this the son of Joseph? But as soon as the teaching begins to address their character they became angry. When you are on the people's side, you will be their friend, but as soon as you go against them, they see you as the enemy. They will do all they can to get rid of you. Yes, you are right, Ma. Then they took Jesus to the edge of the mountain so they can throw him down to die. I love this scripture so much. 
in verse Luke 4.30 but he came through them and went on his way. Jesus just walked through their midst and they couldn't do anything to stop him. It was God. But then I read in John 10 verses 17 to 18 for this reason am I loved by the Father, because I give up my life so that I may take it again. No one takes it away from me, I give it up of myself. I have power to give it up, and I have power to take it again. These orders I have from my Father. He declared that no one can take his life from him without him willingly laying it down. I decree today that no one will take your job until you are ready to leave for a better place in Jesus' name. Amen. Let them gather together and devise ways to fire you, it won't work. The Bible says in Psalms 18:29, By your help I have made a way through the wall which was shutting me in, by the help of my God I have gone over a wall. I decree that God will help you to leap over every obstacle stopping your progress and success in life in Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly in Psalms 23 5 the Bible says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over. The Lord will uplift you right there in their presence in Jesus name. Be encouraged brother. Wow, thank you so much. This is just what I needed to hear. You're welcome. By the way, I have some food in the kitchen. Do you want to eat? Yes, I will eat, thanks. Hi Bella, how are you doing? Wow. Mr. Richard welcome back sir. Thanks. How is everyone around here? Everyone is fine sir. Great. Have a lovely day at work. Thank you sir. Great. The CEO asked me to compile the list of top staff in the company. He wants us to go for training. I may not go because I need to oversee the affairs of the company. Okay, sir. But I have a problem. I don't want to include Richard and Bella on the list. They rebelled against my orders and I will continue to punish them at every opportunity I get. So, how do I exclude them? It's not difficult sir, just remove the names from the list. When the CEO asks you why the names are not on the list, tell him they are on sick leave. Wow, that's a good excuse. I know I can always rely on you. You are welcome sir. Good morning, Mr. Richard. Why are you here? Almost all the staff are attending a training in town. There's a training in town today. I was not informed. Okay, thanks. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Richard. How may I help you? Sir, I heard there is an ongoing training for staffs but am not aware of it. How is that my problem? The CEO organized the training and it was announced on the notice board. So you see, it's not my problem. It's okay, sir. It's like the manager has made up his mind to frustrate me to leave, but I won't. I will be here for as long as the Lord wants me. Hi Joe, I want to travel to China on a business trip. I need to go with one of the staffs. But I understand that most of them have gone for the training. Who is around apart from you? Hello sir, I am fine sir. I am around sir. I can go with you while the account officer who just resumed from a sick leave can take care of things in my absence. No, I don't think that will work. Stay behind and tell the account officer to prepare for the trip. He is good with numbers. Okay, sir, what kind of nonsense is this? I did not allow Richard to go for the training as part of his punishment for his offense. Now, he will be traveling with the CEO to China. Wow, this can't be happening. Hi Richard, the CEO said you should prepare for a journey to China with him. It is a business trip. Let me know all you need for the trip. Wow, thank you Jesus. God is faithful. That's all. You can leave my office now. Okay sir, thanks. Rose, I have a good news. Wow, good news. What is it? I will be going on a business trip to China with the CEO of the company. My manager did not add my name to the list of staffs going on training not knowing that God was preparing a bigger business trip for me in China. Wow, congratulations dear. God is really preparing a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thank you Jesus. Mr. Joe, you are a disappointment to this company. 
Investigations carried out revealed that you have been stealing money from the consumables fund every year. Not only that, you stole the missing money from the account officer's office and framed him for it. You also go about harassing young ladies in the office. Because of these allegations, you are hereby fired from the company. Please sir, don't fire me. You are fired Mr. Joe. Please leave. Drake, it is unbelievable that you join hands together with Mr. Joe to steal the company's money. Not only that you connived with Joe to also implicate Richard by stealing the company's money in his possession. I am sorry sir, it is the work of the devil. If not because you are family, I would have fired you too. But because I know your parents, I will give you another chance. But then, you are suspended for 30 days with no pay. Use the time to reflect on your life and how you can become a better person. I am really sorry sir. Mr. Richard, the committee I organized to look into the issue of the missing money discovered that the money was stolen by Mr. Joe. Because you are honest and you refused to give in when under the pressure to do so, we are hereby promoting you to the position of the manager. All the money deducted from your salary will be returned. Congratulations Richard. Thank you so much sir. Rose, I have loads of good news for you. More good news. Thank you Jesus. I have been promoted to the post of a manager. The former manager was fired for stealing money from the company every year. Do you know he was the one that stole the missing money from my office and framed me for it? What? What a wicked man. Apart from that, all the money that was deducted from my salary so far will be returned. Do you now see that it is good to do what is right, always? See how the Lord helped me to scale the wall of obstacles standing on my way, then he prepared sumptuous meal for me in the presence of my enemies. What else could I have asked for? Dear I have something to say. I'm really sorry for the way I treated you when you were passing through the problem. I can see now that it is good to always do what is right even when it is difficult. Can you please forgive me? Oh Rose, I forgive you. You are my wife and I will always love you. Thanks dear. Wow. Did you see how the Lord can help you to make meaningful progress even in the midst of obstacles? He will even prepare a table before you while the enemies are staring at you and can't do anything about it. May the Lord come through for you in whatever situation you are going through in Jesus' name. Please subscribe and press the notification bell, so that you can get a notification when I upload inspiration-filled videos like this. Also share with friends and family members to encourage them. Thanks for watching.